Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create some slider elements in After Effects with the use of expressions. Getting started awesome people. Today's video is going to cover this expression or this slider control. And um, what's happening over here is that the bar is getting filled and at the same time awesome people, the number is updating too. So this is almost like a percentage thing and that, uh, basically the number is controlling how much of the bar is getting filled so this is a very cool thing and uh, you know some of you may be thinking that okay you know you have created two shape layers adjustment layer static control and boom we have this uh if you were to do that you wouldn't get anywhere believe me this is th this technique is a lot more than that and let me show you exactly how to do this so let's get started awesome people um i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer I'm gonna go oh sorry I'm gonna create a new um, a new shape layer I'm gonna go to add I'm gonna add a rectangle where is rectangle there you go and I'm gonna add a fill I'm gonna change my color to a nice grayish color a little dark superb I'm gonna go to rectangle settings I'm gonna break the link for size and I'm gonna change the X value from 100 to 750 I'm gonna hit my tab key to jump to the second number I'm gonna change this to say somewhere around 75 Super, we have the first box done. Now awesome people, if you're working on your project, um, I highly recommend you rename your layers, but since this is a tutorial video, I'm gonna skip that part. Control D for duplicating the layers. Hit the U key two times, and go with your to the second value and change this to 60. And change the color from gray to white. But actually you do this, you know, depending on how what colors you want. I'm just, you know, saying it because as you have it. Anyways, so this is going to give you like a nice bounding box effect and the white part is the part which is going to get filled from left to right. Superb. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the anchor point of this to the left. So I'm going to hit the Y key, drag the anchor point, hold on the shift key and take it to the left. There you go. I'm going to hit the S key on the keyboard and break the link of us as the first thing and bring down the first value from 100 to 0. and Boom, awesome people, we have created nothing. That is insane. Anyways, I'm gonna hit my control T uh, keyboard shortcut to forgetting to my text tool and I'm gonna type in zero. Boom. I'm gonna take the anchor point of this text layer, I'm gonna take it to the center. This is nothing uh, this has nothing to do with the with the whole um, you know slider thing getting done, but this is a good habit to get into. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, with that being said, awesome people, the thing that I did with the uh, shape layer, that was important. So make sure you do that. And uh, the text layer anchor point, that's not important. So just a small warning. It'll be like, anchor points are not important. You know, he, he just said that. No, that is just for the text layer. Okay. Now, awesome people, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to get uh, started with the slider controls and with the expressions. So control alt y I'm going to rename this to slider. Take slider control from expression controls in FX and presets and drop it onto this adjustment layer right there. And the first we're gonna deal with the shape layer. So I'm gonna hit the S uh, I'm gonna hit the S key for revealing the scale property of um, the shape layer. I'm gonna select my slider adjustment layer, hit the E key for revealing the FX that I've applied to the adjustment layer. In this case, it is only slider control. In your case, there may be more like glow. You know, hue and saturation, etc. Uh, I'm gonna open start a control and attach scale, like hit Alt key on the stopwatch and attach scale to start a control using the pick whip. And boom, you know, we have done something. But now, awesome people, if you were to increase the start a control, this is not happening the way we had intended because this is like the scale is getting increased in both the directions. So how are we supposed to fix that? Because we want to keep this customizable. Yeah, that's an important part that I forgot to say. We want to keep this customizable. See, without the expressions control and without everything, we still could have added two keyframes and made this work like this. And you know, we're getting somewhere, right? We're getting somewhere, but this is not customizable because say, if you have five of these, you'll have to change keyframes in five different layers and it would you know take a lot of time. So we want to keep this customizable. So how do we do that? 
so we're gonna get into expressions now and this is the part where I had warned you about it gets difficult so what we're gonna do is you're gonna create two variables now variables can be anything but in this case just keep it simple I'm gonna use the letters X and Y so I'm gonna tell after effects that X equals the X value of scale now again awesome people like I said um, variables can be any alphabet so I can take a equals the X value of scale and I'm using the pick whip for picking up only the X value of scale hit enter enter B equals the second value of scale now I like to do it with X and Y but you know anyways we have moved on like I've already typed it so I'm not gonna change it and uh, I'm gonna come down bracket a comma B close bracket hit the enter key on the numeric keypad and boom I'm gonna get an error right I forgot something ridiculous I'm making tutorials here I'm forgetting stuff anyways okay uh, what did I forget awesome people when you're making variables now again awesome people I don't want to cover this in detail but just a quick note and this is something that happens to a lot of people it just happened to me that when we are making variables we forgot to add a semicolon at the end so whenever you're making a variable it can be 20 lines long you always have to add a semicolon at the end of a variable this way after effects knows that the variable has come to an end so we did that for a now did for b and boom now we have a proper expression happening but again there's still a problem because we haven't linked it to the static control no problemo this was done just to show you what exactly are we doing now awesome people we're gonna remove the a the whole thing because that's not what we want we don't want to connect it to this we want to connect it to the slider control and again add semicolon so semicolon there now if I let go this is connected to the slider control so now if I take this to 0 this is gonna get 0 if I take this to say 55 this is gonna get 55 this is a great way of controlling your slider control so okay so we're done with the shape layer now coming to 0 because this is still not attached the shape layer is attached I'm changing the slider so the shape is getting changed that's there but the text is not moving so that's a big problem because the text is supposed to be moving it's not so you're gonna fix that now uh, I'm gonna select my text layer hit the U key two times on the keyboard for getting to the source text hit alt um, on my um, stopwatch <laughs> ridiculous man um, take the pick whip and attach it to starter control now you're gonna be like okay that was easy and I kind of knew that was gonna happen that is good if you knew that but the problem is if I was to animate this now I can start the animation at zero move say somewhere over here and change this to say 90 okay everything seems to be working fine I just changed it to 90 the slider went up the text went up what's the problem the problem is if I was to play this and see what happens this is something that a lot of people don't know how to fix and I'm about to show you how to do that in this video boom <laughs> you're gonna get the number but you're gonna have this huge decimal number now sometimes if you're making like a sci-fi movie a short film this is something that you may want to have so this is like you can just leave it over here and you know boom you have like a perfect slider control for yourself but sometimes you don't want to have these many numbers so what do you do a very easy expression is to go back to your source text and add this enter enter capital M A T H so basically math dot round but we don't know what exactly are we gonna round so we're gonna create one more variable I'm gonna go to the very starting of the uh, of the whole thing of the whole expression a equals this thing at the end add the semicolon so we know we have added um, a variable and now we're gonna come to math round open a parentheses a close a parentheses or open brackets close bracket so now after effects knows that math round which is basically rounding off the like this value which is this thing a is right now this big thing is gonna get rounded off as soon as I let go boom it's gonna it's gonna get rounded off to the you know like to the last value to the bigger value so it was somewhere around 60.8 it got rounded off to 61 and this is perfect so now awesome people this year has been linked and this is very customizable again you can if you have more sli uh, slides like this like in my case I have like around five different slides 
Um, actually, this was all kept in different comp pre compositions um, because I wanted to have like a nice, you know, smoothing effect. Uh, and yeah, I could have done this in one comp pre composition, but I still wanted to use five so that so that you know my users and my template downloaders can have the ease. Anyways, um, if you you know have the whole thing in re one pre composition, you can always come to start adjustment layer and change the name of static control over here slider 01 and you can add more static controls to this one adjustment layer and rename this to slider 02 and you know so forth so this is how you create um, a slider control in Adobe After Effects awesome people this was a small experiment done by me I just wanted to see how many people want to learn expressions in Adobe After Effects on YouTube because um, you know I don't want to charge for my tutorials but I still want to know how many people are interested in watching them I don't want to make tutorials and then you know just have them sit on YouTube and you know not getting any views I don't want to do that so leave comments in the description hopefully this gets uh, out there on YouTube and I get some views on this leave comments in the description and uh, telling me if you want to learn expressions on YouTube through me hopefully I'm a good teacher you know I don't think I am but anyways if I am um, leave a comment saying if you want to learn expressions and I'll be more than happy to make tutorials explaining what are these variables what is mat.round and what are more controls like this which are very useful and very practical you know in nature so again this is how you do it and again also people this is very customizable so because you know our entire pre-composition like our whole project the slider project just has two keyframes you know if I can make this come closer the animation is going to be faster if I take them apart the animation is going to be slower and of course I can select both of them hit the F9 key take them to the graph editor let me just do it real quick I can't use the F9 key because my you know my recording is going to stop but again F9 graph editor add like a nice smooth motion like this and you're going to have something really slick check it out awesome people really nice so this is how you create um, a nice slider control in Adobe After Effects for yourself my name is TJ Style thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time take care everyone and peace